I saw this at Spike Island Prison Museum in Cork, Ireland, no description, but it looks like a flare gun with no obvious way to load it, might just be a regular gun meant for one shot, what exactly is this thing for? It's a World War I trigger mechanism for a 12-pounder quick-firing naval ship's gun. These guns were directed by the gunnery officer in the fire control station. Each gun had an individual firing pistol operated by sailors and the armored gun mounts. At the order of the gunnery officer, the trigger man watches the lenses when it lights up he fires. What are these copper coils in every closet in a 1920s house in Seattle? All coils are wired together into a central line in the attic. Every coil is installed on the ceiling in every closet, and they are all connected by uninsulated copper wire. That terminates in a looping system in the attic, too close together for radiant heating, and are only installed in closets even in the basement. The house was built in the 1920s by brothers who recreated their childhood house in Boston. What are these things? It's an early pneumatic heat detector, patented by George Smith in 1907, and later known as Aero Automatic Fire Alarm. It's a line-type detector comprising small diameter tubing, usually copper, that is installed on the ceiling or high on the walls throughout the protected area. The tubing is terminated in a detector unit containing diaphragms and associated contacts, set to actuate at a predetermined pressure. The system is sealed, except for calibrated vents that compensate for normal changes in temperature. What is this small metal rod with the red end? It's 5 to 6 inches long, and the previous owners have no idea what it is. The wire connecting it disappears below the floorboards. I recently moved into a house built in the 50s in the UK. The house does not have a recognizable thermostat, and it's getting cold. It's wired and the wire passes through a glass partition wall. Any help would be appreciated. Thanks in advance. It's an old temperature sensor for some purpose. From what I read it may possibly contain mercury, and the wire is actually a tube that transfers pressure to the sensing unit, probably in a thermostat attached to a furnace or boiler. Maybe no longer in service. I've seen a few of these, but the one I remember was in my grandparents' house, back in 1955 or so. The bulb was outside, and it was for an indoor or outdoor thermometer. Gas water heaters use these to lock the main valve, if the pilot light went out. What is this framed square of pattern textile? The texture looks similar to burlap, it's about 2 feet by 2 feet. It looks old and handmade, and the frame appears custom ordered. I found it on the curb in New York City on trash day. Would anyone recognize what culture this is from? How old, or what purpose it served? Many thanks in advance. It's an African Cuba cloth. From a quick online search, the values range from $50 to $2,000 depending on age rarity condition and other factors. This style originated in the 17th century in the Cuba Kingdom of Central Africa, in the modern-day Democratic Republic of Congo. Using the leaf of the raffia tree, the Cuba people first hand-cut, and then weave the strips of leaf to make pieces of fabric, often called raffia cloth. They were sewn together for ceremonial dress and covered royal stoles, as a sign of status and to provide for the afterlife. They were buried with kings or those fortunate enough to own many. Because of the intricacy and diversity of techniques used for Cuba cloths, they have been a fascination of Western traders, scholars, and collectors since the 19th century. I can't imagine tossing something like this in the trash. What is this grinder-like machine with cutting wheels? It's a small machine of mostly cast iron parts. It has a clamp to affix it presumably to a table or benchtop. There's a small hand crank that turns to interlocking barrels. The thin blades aren't sharpened. It has some Germanic-looking writing on the side that I can't quite make out, and the wing nut on the little clamp has the word model cast in it. The item is currently in New Zealand. It came from an old family farmhouse, but was probably bought at an antique store or auction. I'm guessing you would feed something into the top chamber to be sliced. But for what? Any idea what it is? It's a Victorian cast iron green bean slicer tool, made in Germany circa 1860s. It's designed for julianing green beans, carrots, and other veggies. The beans are fed into the hopper, and the hand crank turned to feed them through the steel blades. Quite an ingenious invention of its time. This piece is in remarkable shape, a testimony to the craftsmanship of the time. 
What is this mystery metal box with an odd grate inside I found in a random garage sale in Australia? No markings or writing. It measures 14 cm wide, 13 cm tall, and 10 cm depth. It appears to be stainless steel, and a reverse image search showed nothing of use. Any ideas? It's a Dowland developing tank used for film photography, made in England from around the 1920s. These processing tanks are really useful if you don't have a dedicated darkroom, as sheet film is typically processed in open trays. I just envy the chance of finding one in the wild, as I live in a place where 4x5 was not popular. By the way, your tank seems to be missing a cap, and the seal is deteriorated, so it would need some work to be useful again. What is this heavy brass utensil-like item with a flat paddle on one end? This used to belong to an old person living in the Midwest. It's about 14 inches long with a roundish flat paddle on one end. The shaft seems of solid metal, and on the other end, there is a spade-shaped protrusion with four holes. The whole thing is somewhat ornate. Wine cork for scale. Any ideas on what this is? It's an 18th to 19th century kitchen salamander. It was used in Victorian kitchens and earlier for browning food in a fire. As you can see this one is well used and retains ash residue. You heat it up and place it on food such as creme brulee to brown it. What is this metal rattle-shaped item that opens up to nothing? I found it at a thrift store and I'm having the hardest time figuring out what it may be used for. When opened it's flat. So I'm confused. My first assumption was the inside might hold a picture like a locket maybe. But without gluing it, there was nothing that would hold the photo in place. Help me please. It's a sterling silver baby rattle frame. Silver objects are traditional baby and christening gifts and have been popular since Victorian times. The saying born with a silver spoon in your mouth implies a child who was born into wealth. This saying is actually thought to have come from the Middle Ages when parents encouraged their children to suck on a silver spoon to ward off the plague. Thanks perhaps to the antibacterial effects of silver, wealthier children who had silver spoons survived. What is this brass gearbox on a gimbal mount I found at an antique mall in Seattle, in the junk bin of a clockmaker's stall? It's made of all brass including screws, except maybe the darker colored ring on the opposite side of the drum. It's about 10 inches in length, the gearbox plates were probably cast, but there are marks typical of machining on it too. Before I cleaned it up there was plenty of tarnish and build up, so it was probably in a pretty corrosive environment. Any ideas are appreciated. It's part of a walker's cherub ship log. This instrument is a recorder for determining the distance traveled, and thus ship speed. Thomas Ferdinand Walker first patented the cherub log in 1878. It was one of the first logs in which the recorder was placed on board the ship, rather than being part of the rotor. The cherub Mark III series proved to be very successful, and was produced in great numbers between 1930 and 1994. What is this wooden item with a wheel that spins smoothly by turning a crank on one side, about 12 inches tall and has a flat back probably to mount on a wall? I found it in a thrift store in California in the toy section, but I'm not convinced it's a toy. Any ideas as to what this might be? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.